here from Fort Worth. Now dug in to throw, and it's high, but it's caught. Jalen Rager. Rager went up to get it, but he got there in a hurry. Now it's third down and one, and it's wow. underneath, and it's a block for Darius Anderson. First down and more. Eludes the tackle of Sean Steele. 340 left of the first quarter. Fort Frogs in front, 3-0. Wow. Looking for seven. Throwing in zone, and it's over three. And now a quick snap and a play fake and a throw. And Heights has another and goal of the five. Duggan quickly throws it. It's caught and leaning for the end zone. Has to keep him out. And now on third down and goal at the one yard line. And second effort and end. It's a dual threat quarterback. Just a quarterback sneak right behind Iguagu. And he got, uh, I mean, there was no doubt. And an excellent pass to protect him. Now remember, a quarterback now is Max Duggan, and he throws it, and it's a deep one. They were throwing the ball to a moment ago, overthrowing Barber. Now third down, and Duggan has a really good pocket. Oh, and a bullet pass. There's a little behind. Defensive end wired up. Throw to the left side this time, another. Duggan in their quarterback. He has scored the only touchdown tonight for TCU. Max Duggan, the true freshman. And they're gonna dial up Rager's number. Oh my, he was tackled. I Again, TCU one time out. The middle of the field is an option. Max Duggan throws in the middle of the field. Darius Davis caught it, hit hard. They're going to say you can't let that happen, but that, the Shannon Patrick put a good block. He put him right in the chest. And here's an incomplete pass. <laughs> He'll throw again. Rolling and throwing and caught, stepping out of bounds. Grabbed by Dylan Thomas. Third down and three. Duggan's throw underneath, Darius Davis a catch. Got hit by Rico Merriweather. Duggan's first down throw. Caught along the left sideline by Trevante Heights, who goes over 100 yards receiving tonight. Mm -hmm. It hasn't been a factor so far. Second down and one, they line up quickly, they go quickly, they throw into the end zone, and Jalen Rager with redemption after yep. the fumble punt. I mean, it's just a post route right here. Duggan put it right on him. First touchdown throw for Duggan in his career. And you know, for that throw and that catch, we'll drop a little confetti right there. Oof, that was shot out of a cannon. Yeah, that one was not shot out of a cannon. That pass by Duggan, by the way. From the 35. An underneath throw to Shea Wo, a lot of Lua. And how about the open field tackle? Five of those tackles for Paul Reeves tonight. Two of the five have been tackles for Loss. To throw the ball, Duggan. And it's caught, and then right as he catches it, as he lands, yeah, a tackle. lot of Lua's taken down again. He's from Notre Dame High School in Chattanooga, Tennessee. He broke beard with the tackle of a lot of Lua. Third and 18 for TCU. Throwing and caught by Tavalence Hunt. And Hunt able to turn up field. Third and 18, and they pick up 19 on the pass to Tavalence Hunt. Duggan rolling. Oh, the ball slipped out as he tried to throw That's it. That's a loose ball. And it is on the ground and judged to be out of bounds, it would appear. Third and six. They just converted a third and 18. Anthony yeah. McKinney at left tackle is sophomore Quazel White from Tacoma, Washington. Duggan throws, caught to Balance Hunt, turns inside after the catch, and then is spun down close to the 20 by Xavier Mitchell. Mitchell. He said the intensity of it. Sounds just like a Gary Patterson guy. And in fact, speaking of intensity, just had to let you guys know. Yes, it's a good, it's a good sound button. Don't watch the delivery, listen for the message. Right now, though, watch Max Duggan stand in the pocket and rifle it. <laughs> I tell you, when he throws the ball. 